Folks, a few weeks ago, Patriot, my Koi Beta, and I introduced what we hope will become a new series on the channel called Show Us Your Tanks. We've got some great first submissions, some very impressive tanks to show you. Show Us Your Tanks, episode one, coming up right now. The idea behind Show Us Your Tanks is simple. I've had the pleasure of getting to know a lot of you over the years. I know how hard you work at the hobby. I know how much care you put into your tanks, and I know how good they look. And I want to use the channel as a platform to showcase what you all are doing if you feel like sharing. This is not a tank rating system where we're rating 1 through 10. It's simply using the channel as a platform to share. I think the subscribers will really enjoy it, and you may inspire somebody on their next tank build. You might give them an idea, a plant that they have haven't tried a fish that they haven't kept yet that maybe they want so this is all about trying to further uh, develop and foster a sense of community uh, with everybody encourage everyone in this hobby that we have all come to love we've got some great first submissions to show you and i want to thank everyone for their submissions this first time around here they are coming up first submission from barry tiny treasures sherry joe this is her 120 gallon tank. I want to take a second and thank Sherry. She has been a supporter of the channel since day one. So thank you for the continued support. This is home to Mrs. Chubby, her eight year old in September. Blood red parrot on the right. She has two bala sharks, four Siamese algae eaters, an angel fish and four male rainbows in the tank. Of the rainbows, two are turquoise, two are bosmani. Three bristlenose plecos, seven quarries in the tank. Of the quarries, one leopard quarry, three copper and three albino quarries, and tons and tons of Malaysian trumpet snails and golden mystery snails. I love the plant growth too in the tank. Beautiful tank. This is Sherry's 40 gallon breeder, home to seven turquoise rainbows, one of them a baby born in that tank, five black skirt tetras, one born in this tank. Two longfin baby albino bristlenose plecos. Sherry, I think the fish really like the nursery that you've built. Certainly is a 40 gallon breeder. She has several other baby bristlenose plecos in the tank and tons, again, of Malaysian trumpet snails, golden mystery snails, nerites, and rabbit snails. Sherry, I absolutely love the plant growth in the tank as well. Beautiful tanks and thank you for the submission. Next submissions from Danny. Danny actually sent in three tanks. This first one is a 16 gallon tank. This is the tank he has in his office and the tank that got him started in the hobby a year ago. He's got three pepper quarries, two loaches, 11 harlequin rasboras, four sword tails, five babies, accompanied with a lot of assassin snails in the tank. Danny, I wish I had a tank like that in my office to look at when I'm working. Here is Danny's second tank. Now this one he set up for his girlfriend at her place as an attempt to get her into the hobby. Danny, you had to be successful there because the tank looks great. This tank has a lot of mollies in it, three autos, seven panda quarries, seven cardinal tetras, a lot of cherry shrimp, and a lone assassin snail. Finally, Danny sent in his 10 gallon tank. This is his male beta Brandy. I remember Brandy well. Brandy had a little accident last winter. Danny and I were able to work through it and uh, he is alive and kicking. And Brandy's got four Amano shrimp in the tank to keep him company. Danny, I'm really happy to see how well Brandy's doing. He looks great. The tanks look great. Thank you for the submission. Next submission is from Kevin. Kevin also sent in three tanks. This first one is his three gallon rimless black water tank. It's been set up for two months. He says there's not a whole lot of stain yet, but Kevin, I'm sure there will be And the tank looks fantastic. He's running an aqua clear 20 with a Phoenix Stingray light. He has 10 rasboars in the tank and an assassin snail. That tank is going to look fabulous when it grows out a little bit more, Kevin. The next tank is Kevin's 20 gallon long. This is the first planted tank he ever set up and this has been up and running for two years. He has a pair of epistogramma cockatoides in the tank that breed constantly. Kevin, I'm sure they do. You gave him a nice natural environment with that litter on the bottom. It looks fantastic. There are seven ember tetras in the tank as well, along with a few autos. He's using Eco Complete. For the substrate, a Phoenix Stingray Light and an AquaClear 50 for the filtration. And check this tank out, folks. This is his 75 gallon black water tank, and this is how a black water tank should look. He's got manzanita wood inside the tank, 30 green neons, 20 red phantom tetras, 19 pencil fish, four checkerboard cichlids, an epistogramma, a starlight bristlenose pleco, nine quarries, and a few autos in the tank. 
up and running for six months. Really great looking Blackwater tank, Kevin. Great looking tanks all around. Thank you for the submissions. Next is from Debbie in Manchester, UK. Debbie sent us a video of her tanks. I'm gonna let her do the talking. This is my five gallon tank. And this beta fish I've had for two years. I've had him since he was a baby. Debbie, he certainly looks happy in the tank. I do want to mention I love the red tiger lotus on the bottom right-hand corner, one of my new favorite plants. And that's Debbie's five-gallon beta tank. She also showcased her 3.5-gallon tank. I've also got this one. Uh, this is a 3.5-gallon. And uh, I have I've this beta fish for um, 10 months. Look at the colors on that betta, folks. That is a gorgeous looking fish. Loving this guy. Obviously very happy and healthy in the tank. Just loving those colors. Oh well, yeah, this is a 3.5. Great betta tanks, Debbie. Thank you for sending those in. Last submission is from Latrell. This is his 20 gallon high planted tank. He's got a couple guppies in there, three sword tails, five ember tetras, six Buenos Aires juveniles, three small bristlenose plecos, two quarry cats, and a lot of Malaysian and blue ram's horn snails. He says it's a bit overstocked right now, but he's in the process of setting up a 40 gallon breeder to move all of the fish in. Great looking tank, Latrell. Thank you for the submission. Loving the sand substrate. You know, I did get a few emails from folks saying, you know, I'm just a beginner in the hobby. This is kind of all I have right now. And those are fantastic. Your tanks look great. Keep plugging along. Keep moving forward. Look, I promise you, your first tanks look a lot better than my first tank in 2011 when I got back into the hobby. Here is that beautiful disaster right here. And I say beautiful disaster because this guy didn't last very long. This is Chester, a goldfish my girlfriend at the time won at the county fair. Driving home, we realized we needed a place to put them. Went to Walmart, bought a 10-gallon tank and some fake plants, but I didn't cycle the tank, had no idea what I was doing. Chester had all kinds of bacterial issues, and he died about a week and a half later, but it did get me back into the hobby. We do all start somewhere in the hobby. Folks, if you want to show us your tank, send an email to dmichaelsfishden at gmail.com. Send in a picture, pictures, or video of your tank. Tell us a little bit about it, how long you've been in the hobby, what type of fish you're keeping, what plants you're keeping, really anything that you would like to share. Include your name or your YouTube handle, your YouTube name, and we'll feature it on an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Tanks. I'd like to do this once a month or once every couple months, depending on the amount of submissions. I want to thank everyone who submitted on this first episode. Those are some great looking tanks. And I want to take a minute to thank everyone for your continued support of the channel. The channel was a happy accident. I never even thought I'd have 10 subscribers. So thank you very much for the continued support. And thank you for your comments. I try to read every single comment and I try to respond to every single comment. As the channel's grown, we're getting more and more of them. One or two may slip by here and there, and I apologize for that. But if you're taking valuable time out of your day to message me, I'm certainly going to get back to you uh, within a day or two if I can and help in any way that I can. Folks, as always, please like, comment, subscribe for future content. Thank you for the continued support, and thanks for watching.